now this is how an open cell phone tape looks like. So if you give a little bit of pressure, it, it will give. Okay, it gives you hardly any resistance at all. So if you have the closed cell foam tape, it will take a lot more to press down. Okay, so make sure you get the open cell foam tape. Let's talk about what you need before you can start constructing a new sponge strip for your sponge bar. Because of course, you first you need to get these foam tapes that I already covered in the beginning. And then you also need to have these. These are just satin ribbon, just plain old ribbon you can get in Walmart or Michaels. They are not very expensive and you can get a lot of them. Then you need to have some white glue. You need to have a marker if you need to cut mark it to cut it in that case then you also need to have a ruler and of course you need to have a pair of good sharp and sturdy scissors for cutting okay now if you don't want to use these ribbons you can actually reuse the fabric the old fabric on your sponge bar okay you need to remove the whole thing you need to scrub it clean washed wash it and uh, let it dry completely then you can reuse it and as long as the, the cloth is not in very bad shape like this one actually i could reuse it okay i may keep it just in case all right i also have a measuring tape so you don't need to have it um, you can use the sponge bar as a guide to cut your tape These are the things of what you need to have to clean your old sponge bar. Okay, I always have uh, an old groceries bag, okay, with paper towel just to protect my working surface with a rag. That's right here just in case you need to wipe down something. Okay, it's, it comes very handy. And I have some Q-tip. You don't need to have them, but it's always nice to have something to pick up small little dots and bits and pieces. And um, I have this is something that's called a lift off, or you can get it something that's called a goo gun, or anything, some sort of solvent that would dis dissolve the sticky stuff. Like see, remove stickers, labels, price tags, tape, gum, and more. Um, this one worked very well. I got it in Dollarama for a dollar. And you can all, if you if you have goo gun at home or anything in this nature, you can also use it. So. It and the next thing is, I have two sizes of screwdrivers. I have the flathead screwdriver, the wider, and then I have the smaller one. Um, this smaller one, it comes handy when you have the last bit of things to clean out from the channel of the sponge bar. And then I have a cutter. You can use an X-Acto knife, a sharp knife, or anything to cut off the end. To cut this strip, because this is fabric, it doesn't, you, if you cut, you use scissors. It doesn't cut close to this plastic clamp and you want to cut it clean. So if you use an X-Acto knife or razor blade or whatever it is sharp, to just cut it right there. So you can use that one. If not, you can use scissors as well. It just doesn't look as clean. I also have awesome orange. This is pretty much just a degreaser. So uh, it also comes very handy in cleaning the overall dust if you have a really greasy and dirty scummy sponge bar and you can use this to wipe it down so this is pretty much all you need to to clean your old sponge bar